Hello guys, welcome back. I've got a what I've been melting video to share with you today. So let's jump right in. We'll start with Sassy Girl Aroma. I melted Tiki Torch, which that is co uh, Golden Sands, Copper Coconut, Madagascar Vanilla Bonfire. This was super good. It was just very beachy, summery. I really, really like that. I would definitely buy this again. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put, as I put them, I'm going to do something different and put them in the box as I uh, go through them. Parlor was another one that was amazing. Coconut milk, bonfire bliss, and a hint of sandalwood. If you like coconut or co coconut milk and you like bonfire bliss, this was so creamy and just, oh, so good. And I actually don't know why I have one little piece left, but I'll use that up today. Um, but yes, this was so good. Another one that I would definitely buy again. Moonstruck, blackberry jam, butter cookies, zucchini bread, vanilla bean noel. This was really good, performed well. Um, at first, it was more of a sweet blackberry like I prefer. And then towards the like middle or end of the burn, it became that t slightly tart blackberry um, jam butter cookie note. But this was really good. Uh, don't know when I got that one actually because I didn't put a date on it. Next, we have Orca Island, Blackberry Beach Nights, birthday. This was basically Montego Bay, and I think the only thing different is the birthday. So if you like Montego Bay, check this one out. Um, the blackberry is that sweet blackberry. Honestly, I don't really smell the birthday. It's just blended, I guess, to make it more, like, I don't know, vanilla-y, but um, that's a good one. Blackberry in the kitchen. I went through a lot of blackberry. Um, this I don't know the notes for in the kitchen, but it's just like vanilla fudge butter and all kinds of different vanilla bakery scents, I guess. So this was good. I don't think it lasted quite as long as I prefer. But but then again, it could just be me because lately it seems like I've been going nose blind. So like I'll smell everything really really strong in my kitchen area and then within a few hours, it seems to be fizzling out for me, but that could just be a personal problem. Forbidden, Unskinny Bop, Strawberry Pink Sugar. This was a good one. I think Unskinny Bop, I don't remember what that one is, but I feel like it has Beach Nights in it. I don't know, but this was, this was like heavy on the strawberry, but in a good way. Um, slightly bakery or like sweet creamy. I don't know how to explain it to me. I think it's a little bit beach nighty slash I don't know slightly bakery note, but I don't remember what unskinny bop is. So you'll just have to forgive me Fabric of our lives um, This was a good fresh laundry scent that performed really well Just was one of those scents that works well if you want to do some cleaning or whatever It wasn't a flannel note, which I don't really like the flannel laundry scent note, but that was good. Juicy pear, warm vanilla sugar, mac apple. This was a really sweet blend. Um, I kind of wanted to just do something different, and I was like, oh, I forgot I had this blend. So, yeah, it was good. It performed well. Very sweet. Funny Girl, which is a lot of scent notes pink sugar cookies twinkies blah 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 so basically this was a really heavy bakery note with um i say the pie crust i'm definitely like pie crust to me has almost a salty note but i don't know how to describe it other than when i have a pie crust blend you can definitely tell it's pie crust so I do smell that very heavily along with just like the creaminess of all the other scent notes um, mixed with pink sugar, which is amazing. So this performed well. That's funny, girl. And last from Sassy Girl is Bubble Rave. This was just a, another laundry scent. Um, this one did have a flannel type laundry note, if you know what that one is. Um, not my favorite. I mean, it still smells really good, but I feel like that scent is overpowering. I guess I prefer the gain note, but this was really good it did it was really strong so moving on to super tarts finished off peter parker this one was really smushy um but it was just a good sweet blend modern family was 
kind of like an apple juice scent to me slightly but it had like almost like a fizzy note like from the lemon but it was good performed well would I buy either one of these again no just because I know like I've tried everything from super tarts that I want to try um, and I know what I like and I know what I would reorder because I have literally have like hundreds of super tarts clams and I just made an order so check for that haul that will be coming soon it hasn't shipped yet but it was all new to me since so I'm excited for that one Bapple, Mac Apple Banana Slice. This was the first time I ever tried an, um, a banana blend and honestly wasn't a fan. So I will be giving the rest of that away. Buffy, uh, Rosemary Mint and Lemonade. This was just a strong like lemon scent with that rosemary note that gives it kind of like a earthy, I guess, scent a little bit. Um, it was good. Spock was really good. Um, for nighttime lavender and blueberry cheesecake it was just like that mm, it's really nice it's very sweet so you could almost melt this anytime and well I like to melt lavender at night only pretty much but that's an anytime scent bob is one that I've held on to for quite some time I've had it from for um, almost two years and I just never reached for it even though it sounds amazing I melted this yesterday and this is something I would repurchase. Hold on, I'm wondering why I, it looks like I have a scratch in my granite. Um, anyways, I really like this one. Um, it's very beachy. You definitely get the coconut. It's like a coconut creamy shaving cream scent. And um, this, I don't really know what seaside is supposed to smell like, but I guess since it is smelling beachy to me, that's, I guess what I'm smelling, but I would buy that again for sure. It was, it was really good in my room and my bathroom. Amity Island is a Jaws blend, Rosemary Mint and Jaws. Another one that's super smush. I actually like playing with them like this, but um, surprisingly, this was so old and it threw for two days. Not like the first time, obviously, the first day was super in your face. The second day, it was just like when I walked in, I could still smell it in my room and my bathroom, so I didn't dump it. And so it performed really, really well. And I think I even put it throughout the house that day. I'm melting Mr. Gold today, and I really like this. It's just a nice creamy, like, summer scent because of the suntan lotion. Um, so I would buy that again. Flash is another good one, just like a nice lemonade strawberry scent um, with, like, a slight creamy note from the cake. I like that one a lot. And then I finished off my Pretty, which I was surprised I finished this because... It's actually one of my favorites. It's a rose jam scent. So if you like rose jam, this one's really good. Very sweet. Um, from the apple, I think it has mac apple. Rose jam, glazed strawberries, mac apple, whipped cream, and fluffy cake bites. This is so good. I would definitely buy this again. And hopefully she'll come back with a BAM bag for that. All right. Let's move right along. We have L3. I melted... Pomegranate Noir Chiffon, which actually was really good in my room, in my bathroom. It was like a, like, just like a sensual, musky type scent. Not musky, I guess, but like a sensual, like, lotion-y scent, I guess. The chiffon kind of makes it, to me, smell like something that I would wear on, a, on my body. So that was nice. Oops. Um, oh, Rocky, Snow White's Downfall, Vanilla B. Noel, Cuppy Cake. This was like an apple cupcake scent kind of it was good um nothing really like extraordinary about it honestly uh dolly the sheep salty sea air golden grams i don't know off the top of my head what dolly the sheep is but this turned out to be salty to me i don't know if the dolly the sheep is a like a bakery note but i kind of also smelled lemon it performed well um, but would i buy it again probably not Big Island Bamboo was just a sample I melted. It performed well. It was just like a green note. Bates Motel, Lavender Chamomile, Tea and Cakes. This was a good one. You definitely smelled all of the scent notes. That I like Tea and Cakes, so that one performed well for me, and I liked it a lot. Tron is Nilla Wafers, Strawberry Jam, and Tea and Cakes. You definitely got the Tea and Cakes note. I honestly thought like this was blueberry to me. But now that I smell it again, it's, it almost smells like a blueberry strawberry to my nose. But that was good. Performed well. And then vanilla pear was just a nice 
like a sweet scent that I had going in the guest room. All right, moving along. Old Primitive, I melted Plumeria, which I forgot how much I like this scent. It's just a super strong in-your-face floral note, performed really well. And then I finished off Pink Lavender Noel in the kids' room, so that was nice. Candles from the Keeping Room, Sparkling Pomegranate Prosecco. This was nice, very sweet, performed well. Sparkling White Pear, another one that was really sweet. Oh, and I thought there were different vendors for a second. And then Fresh Pick Strawberry is one of her classic scents that is really nice. Very sweet strawberry note. Um, and I had this, I had like four little strawberries in this, so I melted it in two different rooms. Um, I might look to see when she's having another restock because I really do like her wax. So, And then Sweet Sage Scents, Rosemary Mint, Salty Sea Air. This was another good one. To me, it reminded me of that Amity Island from Super Tarts. Um, performed really well, and I enjoyed that one a lot. And then Moon Dust was just a really sweet, minty scent. Um, not like a sweet mint, but a fruity sweet. Kind of... Kind of... I don't know how to describe it. It has almost like a medicinal note, possibly. But um, I did like that. And then these are all just the vendors that were single scents. Don't remember, I don't know who this is, but my friend Brandy gave this to me. Fizzy Pop. That was just basically a Fizzy Pop scent. It threw well. Scented Squirrel uh, Love and Lace was heavy on the love spell, but it did perform well. I cut this in half. Emily's Tutu. I want to say this was like a strawberry pink sugar. I know I definitely smelled pink sugar, but it did perform well. And that's from KAE. Um, it's either K or KAE. I don't know. Velvet Moon was a really good one. It's kind of sensual and what's the word? Musky, but oh, I just lost my train of thought. My husband likes that type scent. Patchouli-ish. That's what I, I was looking for. Performed well. Lavender Cakes was another good one. I think this was Tea and Cakes with Lavender, but it did perform well from Bunny Sisters. Up the Creek, Pink Sugar Cotton Candy finally finished this off. And I'm sad because it's a really good one, but it did perform well. And then last but not least, I've kind of just been slowly chipping away at this vintage, vintage chic scents. Whew, Grandma's Pink Pearls, super good for nighttime. I got this in a de-stash because I wouldn't have cut it like this, but it's kind of just like I, I have to break the pieces. They're a little bit large. So anyways, that performed well. So that is all that I've melted for the last couple weeks. Uh, let me know if you've melted any of these. Just stay tuned for a Super Tarts haul because I did order a couple days ago. So I'm excited for that to get here. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.